guys, because soda, well, you gave it up because of the sugar. And then you gave up diet soda because of the artificial sweeteners. Sounds good. But you are still gaining weight. I hear it all the time. You're craving sweets, and the bloat's making your jeans feel tight. So I want you to listen up, because there are many hidden sweeteners in places you would never even thought to look. Like right in here. That's right, packaged whole wheat sliced bread, English muffins. Now, these are the things I'm worried about today. And Dr. Jennifer Cottle is here to investigate this with us, because I don't want you guys getting misled. She's going to explain why hidden sweeteners in packaged whole wheat bread products are a problem. So whole wheat, I mean, I thought that was going to be great. Why the issue? Well, so this is the thing. A lot of consumers, from a consumer's point of view, you go to the grocery store, you want to be healthy, so you get whole wheat bread. And when we took a look, you know, interestingly enough, we took some, we took a look at some packaged uh, English muffins. We also have whole wheat bread here that was packaged. All of these that we looked at had added sweeteners. It's a big deal. Explain, give me some details here, because I'm yeah. surprised, because we've always been saying that whole wheat bread was better for everybody. Well, That's the part of the that, that frustrates me. Is people actually are hearing the message. They're doing what they think is best, right. and they're still tripping and falling, and it's not their fault. Well, and I think that's the thing is, I think it's about being in informed, right? Being an informed consumer. So when we talk about added sweeteners here, we've got our added sweeteners. These are some of the things that we might find in bread and that we have. We've got honey, we've got agave, we've got um, you know molasses, we've yeah. got brown sugar. This is not necessarily bad, but they're added sweeteners, and that's what we have to know about. Now the other thing is, some of these products actually have zero calorie sweeteners. And it's not just the sugar. In in the bread or the artificial sweetener there's right. other things that bread makes you do well that's true and, and that's something I think about too the think think about breakfast right I pull out an English muffin and what do I do is I smear some jam or jelly on it so not only am I getting the artificial sweeteners here or the added sugar but I may be getting that also with the jam or jelly I'm putting on we have to keep that in mind it may be more than we ever thought we were receiving All right, I'll be right back to speak with you and finish up on this but Stephanie and Sandra are here they've dedicated their lives eating whole wheat bread I'm proud of you for doing that it sounds great. Before this show, I wasn't even aware of this problem. Are you surprised that there's so much sugar and, and even artificial sweeteners in your bread? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was completely shocked. Tell me, why did you start using uh, whole wheat bread, eating it? So, I recently had a baby. She's nine months old. Congratulations. And I gained 80 pounds with my pregnancy. So, Holy. I lost. I was able to lose the 80 pounds, and what really helped me was switching to whole wheat and whole grain. And Sandra, you gave up artificial sweeteners completely. Absolutely. Yes, I did. I was feeling lethargic, tired, and just feeling really weird, and I wanted to just cut it out to make better choices for my body, and hearing this just is kind of unsettling. Well, you're not alone, because a lot of folks are concerned about artificial sweeteners. They don't feel like it's gotten them where they want to be. Yes. It, they, and the chemicals can affect your body in ways that are unpredictable. But I don't want you to worry. I've got a solution. Let me come back over here, uh, and then I'll be right back to you. Awesome. Hey, Dr. Cardo's back. He's going to tell us about the research yes. on artificial sweeteners. Because I, I heard Sandra yeah. say that, and that's you know something people are saying all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a lot of us use artificial sweeteners to try to help us lose weight. I have to, I mean, me included. How <gasps> many? I mean, Dr. How, how many of us think that if we use artificial sweeteners, it will help us lose weight? Because we don't want that full calorie sugar. Now, let me be honest with you. The studies are mixed. There are studies that say that using artificial sweeteners can help you lose weight, but there are studies. That also say the opposite, that they can actually help you or cause you to gain weight. Well, no matter how you study it, we haven't yet proven that artificial sweeteners help you lose weight. So adding it to bread worries me. Now, the good news is there are whole wheat options that don't have any added sugars in them. You just need to know what to look for. That's exactly so, right. So this is a t typical package. Tell me if my whole wheat bread is sweetened or not. Well, so this is, I mean, these are certainly sweeteners, and this is what I want everyone to do. This is what we're actually asking for is be your own advocate. When you go to the grocery store, pick up that package of bread and take a look so you're educated. Be your own advocate. Know what's in there. Yeah, and when you go into the store and you see a bakery like this. Yes, yes. You can ask your baker if they're making bread that doesn't have artificial sweeteners. So then the question I'm going to come back to that you touched on is that there's probably a reason why there's a sweetener in there. Why would they add sugar and honey? It costs money to buy these things. I think they're doing it because they think it tastes better, right? And they don't think we'll buy it if we don't have a sweet enough product. And the whole grains can be a little more bitter. Yeah. So let's do a little test, all right? We want to know, do whole bread eaters, whole grain bread eaters, actually value, uh, uh, tolerate having bread with no sugar. So I've got Stephanie and Sandra back there, both blindfolded, <laughs> that they can't see. 
Good. All right, I trust that. All right, now you've been tasting sweetened and unsweetened. Yes. Uh, Stephanie, you want to go first for us? I definitely think that the one to the right was sweetened. It was very sweet. You like? Okay. Did you like it better? Oh, to be honest, yes. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Be, I want you to be honest. But you know, to go with the healthier joys, I wouldn't choose that. All right. And Sandra, how about you? Yes, the definitely one on the right was much sweeter. I had a good taste to it, but um, it's not the healthiest, so I can't really right. follow up. You can take your, eye, your, your blindfolds off to see if you're right. And in fact, you are, which I'm proud of you. Oh, wow. You, awesome. you have taste buds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Here's the real question. If you realize that the unsweetened bread was better for you, does it taste good enough to eat? Mm. Or would you be paying a big price? It tastes good enough to eat. Stephanie? It tastes good enough to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, here's the big message, right? And it's an important one. When you send a message to the food industry, a powerful message, that people who are looking for healthier whole wheat bread do not want to buy sweetened stuff, they'll listen to you, right? If you buy unsweetened, they'll make it. And you can shift industry. We've seen that on this show over the last 10 years over and over again. Check the labels, ask the baker, then vote with your purse. That's Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. Stephanie Sanders, thanks. Thanks thank for being you honest. So much. Thank of you Up next, we're revealing another food you eat every day that could contain artificial sweeteners. The investigation continues right after the break.